ரமணிஸ் சதா விஜயத்தே ராமம் ரமேஷம் ஹஜே ராமேணாபியாச்சமூ ராமாய தஸ்மை நமஹா ராமாஸ்தி பராயணம் பரதரம் ராமசாசோஸ்மியம் ராமே சித்தலயசாமே மாமுர ராமராமேதி ரமே ராமே மனோரமே சகசநாமதுல்யம் ராமநாமவராதனே மீனிங் ஆஃப் தி வேர்ட் மதிஹி யூ நோ நியூ மைட் நோ தாத்து இஸ் மன் 
pratyaya is thin, but what meaning is it being used in? Jasmati means just knowing, dhatu man is to know or to think. So matihi can be just thinking, but a lot of matihi means intelligence. Now how do you get the word intelligence from dhatu man? Can, it can be maybe it's that, it is that by which you think. By, that, by means of which you think is called matihi. Ishtasya mati me matihi. In fact, get a little Bhagavad Gita action going. The last shloka of Bhagavad Gita, right? Yatra Yogeshwaraha Krishna Yatra Partho Dhanurdharaha Tatra Shreer Virayobhutir Dhruvanitar Matir Mama Sumatihi. This is my opinion. This is, this is my thinking. But Mati can also be that by which you think. And that will come in, let me, let me open the Gita book here. Um, Gita, Gita. Yeah, I think it was on this page. Okay. All right. Uh, Kalpesh, you have the Gita on this page here? Um, okay. Uh, try, okay, I thought Gita was... <coughs> no, not yet. I will, I will add it there. Okay. I will, I will, I will open up, I will open up my own Gita. Yes, okay. You can add that one over here. See the uh, Gita page. Okay. Let me see the Gita press, if I can get that. Uh, Anyway, it's the last, very last shloka. See, Gita Press, when you go to the Gita Press website, go to download, go to Hindi and Sanskritam, go there. And there you'll find this entire Gita. And the, what I'm t talking about is the very last, last shloka, the last chapter. Yatra Yogeshwaraha Krishna Yatra Partho Dhanurdharaha Yatra Shreer Vijayo Bhutir Dhruva Nitar Matar Mama. Anyway, so the question is, how did we get, if you if take Mati as, is, as intelligence, Buddhi, and how do we get the meaning of that by which you think? But that is because of this adhikara of akartricha karike sanyaya. So these affixes of which the tin is a part of this, is of this adhikara, they can be used in a sense of bhave. So just the meaning, the meaning of the verb. So if man is to think, mati is thinking. It can mean thought also. But the next, this which I think is, is common sense, but the 3319 is sanyaya. That's a very important sutra. It can be used in any karaka except kartari. So you cannot say mati is a thinker. You will not be the one who thinks. It will be, could be that by which you think, that from which you think, that in which you think, that which is thought. So you know, so it can be passive, but it cannot be the it cannot be the doer of that action. So all these, for example, when you have Masculine noun like Ramaha, take a Ram as add the D for Pratyaya Ghanya, and you get Ramaha. So it is Rama is the one in whom, or in reference to whom, in regard to whom, people delight. So Ramante Yasmin Saharama. So this meaning you get. So the so the gist of what I'm saying is that this Sutram 3319, Akartri Chakarake Sanyaya. Please remember this one. This meaning you, these affixes can be used. This adhikara goes from 3318 all the way to 33 about 112. Um, so it includes the masculine nouns, includes the feminine nouns. The neuters are slightly different. The neuters, not to digress too much, but neuters can come in this 33114, napungsake bhavektaha lutcha. It's this lut, like a word like bhojanam, asanam, karanam, you know, so darshanam. So these, this ana, 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 they can only come in bhave or they can come in the karana, adhikarana, yoscha, karana and adhikarana. So only sense of instrument or in sense of the locus or it can, it can come in sense of bhave. Now one more thing, last point before we move on is that this karana, adhikarana, yoscha in this lut it doesn't have to be neuter either. So word like dharani, dharani means the earth. So that in which everything is held, in which, it's, it's adhikarana, it's dharani. Same thing tarjani, that by which you terrorize somebody, is, is, your, is your pointing finger is tarjani. Anyway, right now we are not talking about neutral nouns, we are talking about feminine nouns. So just give a little bit of background. Now, one more, one more sutra I want to point out to you quickly is the very default sutra of Panini is Kartari Krit. It's 3467 is Kartari Krit. So any Krit Pratyaya. And Krit Pratyaya start from where? They start from 3191 Krit the thing. Krit the thing. 
from there Krit Pratyah start. Uh, and they go all the way to um, the end of the third Adhyaya. Uh, towards, because towards the end of the third Adhyaya, we have the Lasya Dikara. So up to there goes this one, um, sorry, 3193 to the thing. So this Krit Pratyas means what we call in English participles. They can, they are by default in the active sense. So by Krit by 3467, they come in default in the active sense, Krit Krit. But we don't want that right now. We don't want the active sense. We don't want Matihi to mean one who thinks. That is why Pani specifically pushed these two sutras, which I mentioned to you in the beginning of the class, 331819, which says, Bhave Akrit Sanyayam. So in this section from 3318 all the way to 33112, so that Kartarikrit is overruled and this can now only come in the sense of an abstract noun or in any karaka except Kartari. So that's how we are now looking at those meanings. In 3.3.94 onwards starts the section of Striyam Tin. Striyam. So Striyam means that these, these affixes which are coming in this section can only be used in the feminine. So they'll create feminine nouns. They'll create feminine nouns. Now it's a very short and sweet section. You should remember. So this is where Ashtadhyay gives you great bang for the buck. From 3394 to 33112. That's it. That's how many? About 19 sutras only. So within 19 sutras only, Panini tells you how to find, how to make a feminine noun from a dhatu. Only 19 sutras. And of course, this doesn't include the unadi, which I mentioned with 331, which are, which are kind of in the gray area. They are like an appendix to the Ashtadhyayi. So the, those will also be there. But in the Ashtadhyayi itself, this is the section from 3394 to 33112. See, as slowly as you learn from this class, you should try to mark this section in your, in your brain. It's like playing a Monopoly game. You, know? See, this will be, you kind of own this section now. So more this more I mean, information you get about the Ashtadhyayi topography, you know, the, the layout, you can find answers quicker and become more fun for you. You know, you can you can you can try to hone in on the on the issues. This knowledge is getting today more and more rare because most people study Siddhanta Kaumadi only today. They are also study Loku Siddhanta Kaumadi only. Ashtadhyayi is is falling to the wayside right now. But that's where really that is the Mula Shastram. You know, so uh, anyway, so from 3394 to 33112. Right now, we're using 3394, Again, this is the Panini style. He'll give the default, what's called Utsargaha. Get used to the word Utsargaha. Utsargaha just means the default rule. So it means it, that it pushes aside all the other rules and it comes as a default. That's called, it's called Utsargaha. So, uh, and then, of course, there are apavadas below that. So Utsargaha is default rule. I think somebody made a suggestion to me by email that I should save this document and publish it on the, on the website so people can look for it. So I'll make it a little bit more clean today. So Utsargaha is the default rule, is the default. And generally, Pani will put default before the apavadas. So apavadaha. These are technical terms, so you'll see them used a lot in the in the commentaries, you know. So apavadaha means uh, uh, means exception. Exception. So so the three three ninety four is an is an apavada. Now we want to warn you about one more thing right now. Is normally when an apavada comes, it will overrule the utsargaha in because in a small domain the apavada only will will prevail. Utsarga, you will not generally you will not have two two forms. You'll generally not have two two forms. You know. But then in, in this particular section of the Kruda thing, Panini puts a special rule. Let's look at that one for one second. Um, and that one is starts at when the Krut, Krut section starts at Kruda thing, which you already referred to, the three one ninety three starts Krud a thing. Krud a thing. These are very important sutras. Try to repeat them as many times as you can. Remember them, memorize them if you can. 
of course, you'll hear it from me about a thousand times. So hopefully, you know, in a few months or a year, you'll, you'll get it down. So krud ating. So in this section, from 3193 to end of 34, all the pratyas which are mentioned here, they're called krut pratyas. So krut is a technical term, krut. This also is another Panini kind of methodology is where he uses the prior acharyas methods is in the old times <coughs> whatever was the form of the dhatu kru became a generic name for that class so whatever dhatu kru did whatever form is the most common dhatu kru you know different karani right so that dhatu's form became a generic name for that those class of affixes so krut itself is a krut pratyaya if you look at 3195, it says Krutyaha, these are potential participles. Again, Krutya itself is a potential participle. So, Krut is a technical term, it means all participles that uh, that come in this section. Now, before that, even we have to go to the beginning of 311, and that it says Pratyaha Parascha. Pratyaha Parascha is the biggest Adhikara in the Ashtadhyay. What is Adhikara? Adhikara. Adhikara is that which sets the topic for what is to come. It doesn't really, it's not a Vidhi Sutra, it doesn't do anything on its own. It just says from now on, this is going to be the topic, this is going to be the subject matter. So this is also Adhikara. And this, is, this is a revision for many of you, but it's good to know what is Adhikara. As opposed to Anuvritti. Anuvritti is something that goes down from a Sutra into the following Sutras. But that's, that, that Sutra also has, has a function. So the Adhikara Sutra has no... Um, function on its own except to set the topic. You know, that's all it does. It doesn't do anything else. Now, Anuvritti comes from a sutra which has a function on its own. So it does something. And then in addition, Anuvritti will go down, a part will go down to, to following sutras. So Adhikara sets the topic. So this is the biggest Adhikara of Ashtadhyaya is Pratyaha Parascha. <coughs> Pratyaha Parascha. So all the affixes, what you, I mean, which comes after any term, they come in this, in this third fourth and fifth Adhyavadi Ashtadhyay. Third, fourth, fifth. And within that, the third Adhyaya, as we saw, is mainly for Dhatus, after verbal affixes, after, after verbal roots. And the fourth and fifth Adhyavadi Ashtadhyay are for what are called Pratipadikam, because of 411, we have Niya Pratipadikat, Niya Pratipadikat. So, that's from 411. So, this is now also and a nice delineation for us. If you're looking for a participle form, you have to go to third chapter. You cannot go to four or five, because four or five they have the condition ni a pratipadika. Pratipadika is nominal base. So we have to be in third adhyaya. Okay. So so we are we are within the so within adhikaras you have adhikaras sub adhikaras. So we have big adhikara going of pratyaha parascha that covers chapters three, four, and five. Within that we have this adhikara of Krud a thing, and within that also we have other Striyam Tin. So we got these three now. We got Pratyaha Parascha from 311 Pratyaha, 312 Parascha. Within that we went down to the 3193 onwards, Krud a thing, Krud a thing. And then within that we got Striyam Tin. So we are within that third inside that Adhikara right now. Now, the question I had mentioned was that this Triyamthin is the Utsarga, it's the default. Now, does it mean that the other sutras below which come for specific, specific dhatus, will they start overruling Triyamthin or will they not? Now, in, as in general, they should because they are, they are specific sutras in a smaller domain. This Triyamthin doesn't say which dhatu can take. So, Sarve Bhya Dhatu Bhya Sammavati to begin with, okay. So that is like a big umbrella. Now, so there's a smaller sutra below that, they should overrule this one. But but look at this number 3194. Va Sarupostriyam. Very important sutra. Va Sarupostriyam. So Va Asarupaha Astriyam. In this Krut section, any, the Apavada will not generally overrule the Utsargaha. It will only give an alternate form. So Va asarupaha astriyam va asarupaha astriyam so asarupaha means what samana rupaha as long as the utsarga as long as the apavada is bringing in an affix which is a different affix different means 
after removing the it letters, it should not have the same form left behind. For example, if you have pratyaya called yat, pratyaya called kyap, now in yat only ya remains by removing the halantyam. In kyap also only ya remains by removing the shakpatadjite and removing halantyam. So now when these two come, they cannot coexist because they are sarupaha. They are sarupaha. They two are the same form. So, so one will overrule the other. But if it's asarupaha, if you are like tavya, the like aniya, even though they are coming in the same meaning, they can coexist. So word like kartavya can be formed, word like karaniya can also be formed. They will, they will, they will give alternate forms in the same meaning. So in, in the entire truth section, you will have this rule of vasarupo striyam, but it says astriyam, so not in the striyam adhikaraha. So in striyam adhikaraha, we go back to our usual, which is the apavada should overrule the utsargaha. So the striyam tin, tin will get overruled by the other sutras. Otherwise, in the other sections, it will not happen. Okay, so just background for you. All right, let's start with the Omo. So we are looking at section 3394 to 33112 to form these feminine nouns. And the default there is Triyam Ktin. Let's look at the Pratya Ktin for a section. In that, what are the Hitler in Triyam Ktin? It is going to be the Lashak um, Vatadjite. Lashak Vatadjite, this beginning to Pratyadi you know, which are non tadita pratyas, we, the, if you have a la, or the talavya sha, or the um, kavarga, they are markers. First thing you have to learn how to do is remove the markers. So you're getting something in the mail, you know. You have to remove the box first. If you can remove the wrapping, you can't use what's inside. You don't want the plastic all the time. So, so, you want to, so we have to remove these markers. And here we have two markers. And one more thing is that all the markers have some prayojanam. They have some use. So, so prayojanam vina is sanya na sambhavati na vidhiyate. You cannot have, a, so you should all, next question you should always ask, what is the prayojanam of this marker? Now, many of these markers are there for Vedic swaras, for Vedic intonation. See, which is which is a sign which is now today basically lost, because almost nobody, unless you go to Vyakarana Patshala somewhere, who chants the Vedas will know probably today that what this swara means grammatically. What is the grammatical implication of this swara? So actually, in, in the Vedic swara, are not randomly put over there. They have grammatical implications, and that science is, I think, safe to say mostly lost today. Um, because the in the old times when you are chanting you should be able to tell, ha, ah, this must be that affix, this must be that, this must be that. As you are chanting you should be able to tell that. Anyway, in this class you are not doing Vedic so we, we don't need that. But that also was done by Panini to put the to, to put the implication, grammatical implication of the swaras. So here we have two, where do all these rules come? It's a very short and sweet section. It comes from 132, I think it's 132 or 133, let me look at that. Upadesha Aj Anunasika It. Upadesha Aj Anunasika It. From that, about six or seven rules only. Uh, it starts in 132, 133, here it is. It says Upadesha Aj Anunasika It. So one from 132 to uh, <coughs> 138, you only have seven rules. So please mark these and please refer to these all the time. They are very, very basic rules. So any pratyaha, which is an affix, any adeshaha, which is a substitution, any agamaha, which is an augment, basically any technical term, even any dhatu that has markers on it, even in Ganapata you have some markers sometimes. Even the Unadi Sutras, they have also markers on them. So these are very fundamental, important rules. Only seven of them. Please practice them. Please use them all the time. If you have any questions, please ask. And the very first rules say that if you have a Anunasika vowel, nasalized vowel, 
in a technical term, Upadeshe. What is, what is Upadeshe, by the way? Let's, let's see what Abhyankara says. What is Upadeshe? Upadeshe Arjuna Nasika. It, Upadeshe is not that easy term. It means any technical term, not in regular language. Generally, it means Dhatu Partha, Sutra Partha, uh, Gana Partha. So these, these, these are called Unadi Partha. They are called Upadeshe. So that means a technical term. So only for technical terms, we have this marker business. Otherwise, when you speak in general language, there is, there is, no, there is no marker business. So let's see Upadeshe. Let's use this one. Upadesha says instruction, the original enunciation, original precepts or teaching. Says Adya Ucharanam, Upadesha Juna Nasika It. So, and anyway, um, so we have to use these sutras to remove the markers. And in our case, we have Triyam Ktin, we are using two sutras. We are using Halantyam. So in a technical term, if you have an ending consonant, that is a marker. And we are also using sutram Lashakvata Dite. So any Lakara, letter the letter la or the talavyasha or the kavarga la shaku atadhite should not be tadhita pratyaya now why tadhita pratyaya where, where do those start how do we know we don't have tadhita pratyaya the tadhita start from 4176 on down so they go from 4176 to the end of the fifth chapter so that is the domain of the adhikara tadhita aha this is 4176 tadhita aha it's a huge, huge section. It has more than 1,000 rules. Anyway, right now we're not doing that, so don't worry about it. But if we don't have Tadita Pratyaya. That's why you could use the Sutra, Lashakwa Tadite. It says Atadite. Otherwise, this curve would not be a marker. So we're using these two rules. Let me put the rules number of this document. I'm going to try to save this document and uh, upload that if possible. So people can look at the Sutra numbers afterwards also so we can do that uh, okay so let's go to 1.3 and we're going a little bit slow so everybody can catch on it is this one halantyam um, 133 and leshakvata is 138 so when we use the 133 this na will go away so we'll only have the we only have this one left now um, and that we used 133. Um, and then we'll get the only the T because we'll remove the ka by 138. So I'll put the numbers here. So later on, if you want to you know, look up the details in the sutram, you can look that up. But yeah, T only is left. So what homework is being asked for us? So he's given us, given us one dhatu. And he wants to derive that form. Abhiman plus tin. So Abhimati, he will get the form. The meaning of Abhiman, he has given up here to desire to allow permission. So it may be, Abhimati can be, can be intention, desire can also mean permission. We can also go and get the meaning from Apte, more meaning. Right now he's only asking to derive, derive the form. Abhiman plus Tin. Okay. Now when we add in Krut Pratyaya, you should always ask two questions immediately. The first question is that, do we have any guna or vriddhi in the, in the dhatu? The second question is that, do we have any id agama? Now, id agama, we will we'll look at in detail in the next chapter. So let's not worry about too much today. But I'll, I will point out one thing for today, which is the good news, is that this pratyaktin never takes the id agama. So we are in good luck right now. We don't have to scratch our brain, you know, scratch our head to figure out where we're going to get the idagama or not. So we, this is what we have right now. And we use 3394 to get this right now. This one. So 3394 is 3 Now, why is there no idagama? Because Pani has a specific rule where he puts certain pratyas and he says these pratyas will never take an idagama. So you don't have to look the dhatu is set or anit or whatever it might be because these particular pratyas they don't take any dhagama and that idagama you're going to look in the next lesson in great detail it's a very important lesson um, we'll i just i just look, point you to two rules right now which you should always remember is one is this adhatukasya idvaladehe 7235 
is any pratyaya which is called ardha dhatuka that can take any ragama if it is a valadi dhatu val is what val is simply hal minus ya in the mahasha sutrani look at the mahasha sutrani hayava rat land yama gana nam so if you look at all of that you when you go to the towards the end you will see the um, so hayava rat so so from there the um, if you take hal minus the ya you will get val so if you have pratyaya which is ardha dhatuka it's valadi you no know, we do have valadi so pratyaya tin is valadi takaradi again if you want to rem- if you want to see if anything is valadi or haladi or ekach or anekach or what ajadi remove the markers first remove the markers first then only check you remove the box you have to go inside because you should not you should not look at the pratyak tin and look at the ka as the beginning letter no this pratyak tin you remove the ka and the na and then only inside it is really a takaradi pratyak the takaradi pratyah okay so it's it's valadi because of ta not because of ka so you have to move the move the valadi so this could have taken it agama this now what is ardha dhatu ke because we have to know what is these are all sanyas you know what is ardha dhatu ka and ardha dhatu ka is defined in in um, in towards the end of 3.4 uh, ting shit sarva dhatu kam ardha dhatu kam sheshaha so that also we need to know all these rules so we can uh, understand what what is being prescribed so thing shit sarva dhatukam ardha dhatukam sheshaha so dhatoho iti vihitasya so anything which is prescribed after the dhatu <coughs> which we have which we have right now and that is called ardha dhatuka unless it is a pratyaya which is in the ting pratyahara thing is those 18 verbal affixes tip tas g etc which we use to form verbs so those 18 and anything which has this this talavya sh as an it those will be called sarva dhatu kam that's 34113 the remaining will be ardha dhatu kam sheshaha so all pratyaya striyam tin which i using right now will be ardha dhatu ka because it is not in the ting pratyahara that does not have this talavya sh as a marker so by 34114 will will be ardha dhatuka and then by this so by 3411 let me let me put these numbers maybe on the document so we can put more numbers there so you have to check by by you have to use you know i can check uh, 34114 we got the sanya ardha dhatukam ardha dhatuka sanya we got and then by 7235 we would have had the possibility of an idagama it means what there is a letter e would come in between here before the t you'll get the little e over here is an augment an addition e might have come but now there is one specific rule which says that the pratyaya tin does not take idagama so we don't need any of this right now but it's good to check it's a good habit because now when we have other pratyayas these we have to we have to check for these to see if you can get a idagama so this is these two things you should always check when you add any any pratyaya after dhatu is is there any idagama is there any guna vriddhi idagama only comes as in general rule if you have a valadi pratyaya valadi pratyaya if you don't have valadi no idagama secondly it only comes mainly for pratyayas which are called ardha dhatu ka 7 to 35 There are some exceptions to that, but that's for the for the most part. Okay, for us now, the good news is that we have a specific rule, which is this seven two nine, which Pani lists a set of pratyas, and he says for these no idagama, and the very first one is the pratyati. Pratyati is there, so that is the one. So finally, by seven two nine, we don't that that takes care of us. we don't have no idagama okay so one thing is solved second thing is that can we have any guna vriddhi <coughs> what are the rules for that normally the rules for that are in two rules in 7.3 which says <coughs> sarva dhatuka ardha dhatuka yo ho sarva dhatuka ardha dhatuka yo ho and that is 73 um 84 
if you have any pratya which is either sarva dhatuka or ardha dhatuka, it can do the guna of the ending vowel. 7384. Sarva dhatuka, ardha dhatuka, yoho. And then there is also 7386 which says, Puganta lagu padhasya cha. Puganta lagu padhasya cha. If you have a lagu vowel, which is penultimate, that can also take guna. If you have pratya following, which is sarva dhatuka or ardha dhatuka. We have right now tin. The tin pratya is a ardha dhatuka pratya. So these two sutras want to come and apply. Right now we look at dhatu man. It's ending in a consonant. So we don't have to worry about 7384. That only applies when the dhatu ends in a vowel. How about 7386? Even that we don't need because our penultimate right now is, is a in the dhatu man. The penultimate letter is a. And the guna of a is a only. It doesn't change. But even if it did, we have one more rule, which that's the reason why this, this curve was an it. That stops any guna vritti. But these two sutras are for guna. So remember these, please. 7384, 7386. We're going to use these all the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. When you have any pratya, which is either sarvadhataka or arjadhataka, either one of them. Then it can do the guna of the ending vowel or the penultimate short vowel, these two. And where does Vriddhi come in? Vriddhi normally comes in in these two rules in 7-2, towards the end of 7-2. We don't need these right now. I'm pointing out to a few, for future use, we'll refer to these. That's 7-2-1-1-5-1-1-6. Achor Yiniti, Atopadhaya. But these require that the affix should have a marker, which is the nasal of the chavarga, the ch ch j j y, and the t varga, t t d d n. So one of those two should be a marker in order to get a vriddhi. Seven two one one five one one c. We don't we don't have that. We have the pratyak ten. There's no marker here, which is you know the y or the n is not there. Even if even but what. More important than any of these right now for us is the sutram kiniticha. Kiniticha. So, one time I met a man and he said, what are you doing? I said, we went to some sutram class. He said, my father used to make me memorize the first five sutra of So I, I have no idea what they mean. But when I was a young boy, my father said, at least five sutras of Panini you should know. And he said, even now, after 20, 30 years, I know those five sutras. So he, he, he recited them for me also. Vriddhi radaich adeng gunaha eko guna vriddhi nadhatu lopa ardha dhatu ke kiniti cha. He said, that's all I know. <laughs> that, that was the last thing. But after I wrote. Anyway, kiniti cha. What does the sutra say? The sutra says that if you have pratyavisha, this ka or the nga, ka ka ga ga nga, one of these two as a markers, then no guna vriddhi. There is no guna vriddhi. So that because this na, this is eco guna vriddhi, no. So there's no guna vriddhi if you have one of these two as a marker. One of these two as a marker. Sometimes you can, some people also put the g in there also as an it. That's a bit controversial. But at least the ka and the na, they will not cause guna vriddhi. They will stop, stop guna vriddhi. So we do have that. We have this pratya tin which has this ka as a marker. So because of 115, I'll put, I'll put that here, 115, kniticham. Very, very important sutra, Kiniticha, and says no, no guna, no gunaha, no vriddhi. So anyway, anyway, there was no vriddhi, anyway possible, but gunaha is stopped. So, so that's good now. So we have no vidagama, so seven two seven two nine, no gunaha. So we are now happy. If we have don't have any of these two right now. So then we only need one extra rule here, and that is six four thirty seven. You know, the final form is matihi, as you know, which we saw from the Gita also. And we know we need one rule, which is also an important rule, not as general as these prior rules. It applies to only certain dhatus, but they are important dhatus. And what does the sutram say now? Let's look at that one. So we need 6437. 6437. 6437. Now, how do I know these numbers? Because we, we've been through it so many times. 
for years, so you, you will also know them after a while. 6437. And then that says, <coughs> look at this long one. Look at this. It, 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 went, it went beyond the margin also. <laughs> so it is Anudatta Upadesha Vanati Tanotyadi Nam Anunasika Lopaha Jali Kiniti. Okay. Let's split this sutra into two, three parts. First, I say Jali Kiniti. So the, what we should, we should need an affix which is Jal Adi. Jal, beginning with a Jal. So it should be Kit Nit Pratyaya. It should be either Kit or and we do have that. Because we do have, so we'll be trying to use 6437. Always check all the conditions in the Sutram before using it. Very good habit. Because, I, because I've been in trouble a few times because you don't check the Sutram. And how do you check all the conditions? You go to the Vritti. And the Vritti you should check. Vrittis are meant to be memorized. The Vrittis are composed with extreme, extreme care. Extreme care. Of course, sometimes there are controversies. But they are extremely well composed. So, let's see. Let's look at, let's look at our Ashtadhyayi now. Go to the Ashtadhyayi. Um, okay, uh, let me see. I can get it from here. Or maybe I can get it, get it, get it. Uh, where is that one? Here, complete Ashtadhyayi. Let's check that. Uh, let's check that one. Okay, here we got it. Maybe I should, I should keep that page. We'll open a new page for us. We need that one. Okay. And this is a good Ashtadhyayi. It has, it has, by, a lot of collation has been done here. To pick out the Vritti from the Lagu Siddhanta Kaumadi, Tattva Bodhini, Kashika, Bala Manorama, and also the Prathama Vritti. So a lot of work has been done. Thanks to Sri Ajit Krishnan from the West Coast. So, but when some of the numbers are a little bit off, maybe sometime I want to be careful. The numbers might be slightly off in this one. So let's see, six four thirty seven we want to use. That's the main sutra that we're using now. Six four thirty seven. Okay. So here, uh, okay, six four thirty seven. All right, good. It says it says correct number this time. Six four thirty seven. What does it say? It says, Anunasika Antanam. Anunasika Antanam. So, because why do you say? Because Anunasika Lopaha. We want to get the Anunasika Lopaha. So, the end of, it should be ending in a nasal. Otherwise, the sutra has no application. It should end in a nasal. We have the Dhatu Man, that Nakara. So, it is Anunasika Antaha. If it is not, you don't need this sutra. You don't need it. It's also a very, very fun exercise, by the way. It's also a very fun exercise. You can go to sutra by sutra by sutra by sutra by sutra. Just see what conditions are there for each sutra. And if you're looking for an answer, or even just for fun, you can do it. And you can see many times the conditions are such that they will not apply. They're only applying to specific, specific, specific places. Some are more, more general, some are more specific. So we need, we need anunasika dhatu, anunasika anta. If it is not there, this sutra doesn't apply. We don't need it. But we do have that. And then Anunasika Antanam Esham. What is Esham? It is what? Anudatta Upadesha. Anudatta Upadesha. Okay, now what is that now? Upadesha again is a technical term, is the original utterance. Means for us right now, it means in the Dhatu Pathe. We are talking about Dhatus. So, actually there I should, I should also mention one thing, that there are some Dhatus which Panini gives in the Sutra Pasa directly. So they are called Sautra Dhatavaha. So even though Dhatus mostly come in Dhatu Partha, they are sometimes given by Panini directly in Sutra Partha, but they are very few. So here, here Upadeshe means in the Dhatu Partha. Now every Dhatu has to have at least one vowel. And that's kind of obvious. Because without, you, cannot, you cannot pronounce it with that. And most of them have only one vowel. There are very few which are called Anekash Dhatavaha. They are more than one vowel. There are very few of them. Most of them have only one, exactly one vowel. And that one vowel has a swara on it. Now, swaras means intonations. There are two kinds of, you know, swara implications. One is which Panini uses. Those we need to know. Second, which Panini prescribes. Those we don't need to know. Because those are prescribed for Vedic text only. And those come mainly in end of 6.1 and 6.2. Those we don't need to know because we are not assigning assigning swaras to Vedic mantras. 
but the, those which Panini uses, that we need to know. So in Dhatu Paratha, every Dhatu has, a, has to have at least one vowel, and mostly has only exactly one, and that vowel will have a swara on it. It will be either Udatta, Anudatta, or Swarita. And then, <coughs> if it has Anudatta swara, then only this sutra will, will apply for those Dhatus. What does Anudatta swara mean? That has also one important, important um, implication. And that is, I want to look, take you quickly to 7 to 10. 7 to 10. Ekacha Upadesha Nudatta. Why am I taking you there? Why we need that right now? Because that is the main product, the main uh, use, Anudatta Swara. Ekacha Upadesha Nudatta. If you have a Dhatu, which has Anudatta Swara, means the Dhatu vowel, not for the it letters, I'm talking about dhatu vowel itself, has anudatta swara. Then following that, iragama is stopped. As it's a general rule, see in the dhatu partha, if you have a dhatu, the dhatu vowel has anudatta swara, and that will not take the, uh, will not allow an iragama to come after it. So basically, in our sutram right now, what you're looking at is the, is the anudatta upadesha, that boils down to the Anid Dhatus, even though it's Anudatta Upadesha. Roughly speaking for us right now, we can keep it simple for us. Anudatta Upadesha. And we need a nasal ending Dhatu also, because Anunasika Lopaha. So we need a Dhatu ending in the nasal, which is Anid Dhatu. Why Anid? Because again, it could be need Anudatta Upadesha. So Anudatta means by 7 to 10, Ekacha Upadesha Anudatta. So, and there are only six such dhatus, only six. So, this entire thing can be, can be summarized, because we need a nasal ending dhatu, which is anudatta upadesha, means which is anid dhatu. There are only six of them, and I'll put them on the document here. So, they are the yama, nama, gama, rama. So, we're trying to use 6, 4, 37, okay? That's what we're trying to use right now. And to make sense of 6437, we refer to uh, refer to 7210, because that has the same condition over there as the Anudatta Upadesha. And that gives the six nasal ending dhatus, and they are the Yama, Nama, Gama, Rama, and then also Han and Man. So these six. So these and Man is one of them. That's why we are coming there right now. Because <laughs> our Dhatu right now is Man. And that Dhatu is in those six. So these six Dhatus, which are nasal ending Dhatus, which have Anudatta Upadesha. This is the Anudatta Swara on the Dhatu Ach. They have that. So these six. Also some others. Dhatu, this is Dhatu 1. And also the dhatus in the eighth kana, tanotyadi, which is nasal, which we don't have right now. So that's also one more thing. When you have a sutra, you want to apply it. You don't need to take all the condi all the conditions in there. You can take what you need right now. And we have the dhatu man right now. We don't have to worry about this dhatu vanati, tanotyadi. So this part we don't need right now. It's vanati tanotyadi nam we don't need. We only need this Anudatta Upadesha with six dhatus, out of which man is one of them. Anunasika Lopaha, Jali Kiniti. What does the Vritti say? In fact, he also says here, look at this word it says. It says here already, this is Lagu Siddhanta Kaumadi. Yami, Rami, Nami, Gami, Hani, man, Manyat, Manya, Manyatayo, Manyat, Manyatayaha. These are Anudatta Upadesha. So if he spells it out for you, these six. So yami, rami, nami, gami, hani, manyatayaha, manyati. So this manyati, manyati, manyatayaha is, is bahuvachanam. These six anudatta padeshaha. So and then, so these are six and then the others which we don't need right now. So what happens to them? They lose their nasal. When do they lose their nasal? The pratya coming is jaladi, kitnit pratya, which we do have. So because our pratya is, is, is the striyam tin, and that is jaladi, that has a curse in it. So this na is going to drop. 
So now what we're going to get is, let me put this down here now. Uh, okay, let me put this down here. So we're going to get this now will equal only the, uh, see the Abhi is Upasarga. This is, this, is, this is a separate Pada. It does not participate in any of these actions because it is a separate Pada. Upasarga is a separate Pada, it's Puthak Padam. So what you're doing is Antaranga for that. So this part has to be finished first before we can look at any interaction with this Abhi. This has to be, all this work has to be done first. So we're going to lose this Nakara by 6437. So that's how we finally get the form Abhimatihi. Abhimatihi. So that's what is required here. Okay, so final form is Abhimati and it will be declined like, for like Mati, Abhimatihi, Abhimati, Abhimatayaha and so on and so forth. So Abhimatihi will be the normal singular form. So that was the first homework. Took a long time but again many of you have joined new so I don't want to go too fast. And apology to the old people. Uh, but uh, good revision for them also. Um, okay, so that's we did the first part, Abhimatihi, Abhimatihi. Next one is the word Kya plus Kin. So Kya is to tell, to narrate, to describe also. Tite Gujyam Akshyatam, Gujyat Gujyatram Maya, Vimurushyade Dasheshya. I think it comes in Gita 18 chapter, if I'm not mistaken. I think 18 chapter. Hmm. It comes in Gita, this word Kya. Let me see. Idite jnana makshatam guyyat guyyataram maya imrushyaita dasheshena yathe shasita thakuru. Idite jnana makshatam. The last thing of Krishna says that I told you all the secret knowledge. Now having reflected you do what you want now and now it's up to you. Okay, it comes towards the end over here. Uh, yes, here it is. So I have just told you this most secret knowledge. I think about this and completely and then do as you please. Anyway, Akshatam is here. Akshatam. Is varnitam, uktam. So now this dhatu is ending in this. Again, as we saw, this tin takes no iragama. It has no guna vriddhi implication. So just join together, make khyati. The word khyati. Normally, khyati doesn't mean just telling or describing or description. It means fame or glory. Now, how do we get that meaning? So that which that by which a person is described is his, is that's his fame. So, it, so, it does, so that also could come. But you can just take a description of that person. So that's, that's his glory, his, his reputation, his fame. So khyati, the word is khyati. Also, keep these dhatus in your mind. There are only few hundred dhatus in this language. They get repeated over and over and over again. That's what actually this language is easier than English or something. English is required to memorize a million words to speak English. But here it's an internal language. So it should really be easier because once you get a hang of the dhatus and get to see. Because if you know the form of one dhatu in one form, might be a verb, might be a participle. When the same dhatu comes again, with the, maybe the same upasarga in a different form, you can get the meaning pretty fast. Anyway, so khyati, khyati is, is fame, glory. So there's, there's no rule applying here. We only apply the 3, 394, 3 arm tin and just join together because there was this, there's no iragama, there's no guna, nothing else is coming, becomes khyati. Now next one, sriraj plus tin. Sriraj plus tin. Now sriraj is to create. So uh, become, now there, this has one rule coming in here, which is, and we want to get the form srishti. So sriraj plus tin. No iragama because of the 729. No guna, I want to keep on repeating that because always you should check for these. But kiniticha, no guna. So we need, so there's no sapad, sapad, sapad sapta jai karyam nasti. So there's no, not, no work to be done in the first 7.1 chapter of Ashtad jai. So sapad sapta jai karyam nasti. So we have to now go to the last three quarters. 
<coughs> and there we have we should have had a default rule coming in. Okay, let's go to the document. Let's document this for those listening. I think many people listen to the recording in the, of this class, so I want to put this here. So we're looking now at the. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, we have syringe plus the same place same this plus tin we can take from before and anubandha lope t. So remove the eight letters. We got t. And that the curve is that, see in this case, we would have had the guna of this ru, which is a penultimate short vowel. But when we are not getting that because of this 115 kinetiche which we used before, that is what is stopping the guna. Okay. So now here we should have looked, we should check, we should have applied, should, uh, maybe this 8230 should have applied here, would have applied. What does that say? What does that say? Let's go to there for a section. For, for, for a minute, and it says chohoku, chohoku, very important rule. You will hear this a thousand times. You will hear this a thousand times because it comes all the time. Why does it come all the time? Because what are the conditions? Is this the chavarga becomes kavarga, jali padante. This is symbol. This is sandhi rule. This is not anything to do with dhatus or anything else. Or when it, it applies, to, it's just a, it's just a coalition of the sounds. So when the ch, varga, ch 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 is followed by either jali, any letter which is jal adi, which is which is jal. I'm sorry, which is jal letter, or that is padante, or the ch varga letter is padante, then it goes to the k varga. Of course, it will go to the closest one, so ch will go to k and so on, the j will go to ga. In our case, we have dhatu sridj. So dhatu sridj, we have a ch varga at the end, it's followed by the letter ta, and that is a jal letter. So that j should have become ga by choho koho. Let's go to our ashtadhyayi and look at this. This is, a, this is an important rule which you're going to hear many, many times because it is Chavargas are common and if you form a jali padante, jali padante. So if you have a, if you have a jal jalari following, jal letter following, or if you have a padanta there. So eight two thirty. That should have applied here. But that is not going to be overruled by something else. So this one chohokuhu, let's look at for one second. Chohokuhu. It says chavargasya kavargasyat jali padante cha if you try to read these vrittis see the what see which, what the the one which you're doing in the class the sutra which you're doing in this class you should if you have some time go and read the vrittis see if they make sense to you because this samsutam is simple and again it's, it's very masterly composition these are so it says cha vargasya ka vargah syat. so cha varga becomes ka varga when jali padante cha and for us, we have jali. That would have applied. But we don't want it to apply. Why don't? Because the final form is what? I think we all know the final form is srishti. So srishti. We are looking for the form srishti. Looking to get this form. But we, 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 we want to get this form srishti. So we need something to make it into now into the, into the murdhanya. So we need something there. So that's going to be 8236, also an important rule, which you will also hear quite frequently. So we, we, we want to get the form srishti. That's, that's our form srishti. So let's see, we have to use 8236. So 8236. And that 8236 applies to certain set of dhatus. Which are they? 8236 is vrascha, vrascha, srija. We have dhatu srij in that, which is what we have right now. Srija, Mrija, Yaja Raja, Bhrajas, Chasham, Shaha. So these dhatus, Vrascha, Bhrascha, Srija, Mrija, Yaja, Raja, Bhraja, these seven. And also any Talavya Shakara or this Shakara with the Cha, these also, they become the Murdhanya Shakara Jali Padante. So same condition, Jali Padante. And that so these seven dhatus and also any 
anything ending in the, any dhatu ending in the talavyasha, which we don't have right now, but we will we see it many times. Like, like a dhatu, like nash, becomes nashtaha. So nash is a talavyasha kar, becomes nashta. And also this, this mahaprana cha, with the cha, that also becomes like dhatu pracha. Prach is to ask, become prishtaha. He was asked. So these two also. But right now we have the dhatu sraj. This was an apavada for chahokuhu. Apavada for chahokuhu. 8.236. So let's go to the vritti again. I want to get to the habit of going to the vritti. Even if it takes us some time in the beginning, it's okay. Let's go and find what exactly it says. So if you go to 8.236, it says, uh, okay, 8.236 says um, jali padante cha same condition jashtva chartva okay he's not giving any so that's all he's saying because he all this is all he says <laughs> he, he just says jali padante cha because why shesham spashtam remaining is, is, is obvious don't give so we can maybe go to kashika you see what happens in siddhanta kaumadi is that he doesn't repeat anything at all so in, in a sense, the Kashika Vritti is slightly better for us because he will not like, you know, say like Spashtam, it's easy for you. <laughs> it may not be easy for us, but he says Spashtam. It, it, it should be it should be straightforward. But Kashika is more kind. He gives a Vritti for every single Sutram. No matter how easy or how hard it might be, he gives a Vritti for every single Sutram. Siddhanta community does not do that. Because many times he will make it like very summarize it, it will be very easy. Anyway, what does Kashika say? Vrascha, Bhrascha, Srija, Mrija, Yaja, Raja, Bhraja, Iti, Ete, Sham. So these seven dhatus and also Shakarantanam, ending in the Mahaprana Cha and Shakarantanam, ending in Talavya Sha. Mudhanya Shakaraha, Adesha Bhavati, Jali Parataha, Padante Cha. So we have that right now. We have Dhatu Sraj. We do have Pratyati following, which is a Jaladi Pratyaha. See, for right now, I think it's, it's a little bit mysterious for you how all these numbers are coming from where. After you get some practice and get some um, Abhyasa, get some Parichayaha, then you also start because there are people in this class, I know at least five, six, seven, eight of them, who know all these rules very well already. So a bit boring for them, but it's okay. But for the new people, don't worry. In the beginning, you'll see oh, so many sutras coming from, from, from nowhere. They're coming and hitting us from nowhere. It'll, it'll feel there for a little while. Give it some time. Then you, this, these simple rules will be repeated so many times that you'll build, become a part. In the first few months, it's going to be all new for you. Anyway, I'm giving you all the numbers, but you'll see them again and again. So if you don't remember the rules, don't worry. They're going to come many, many times, many times. So, so 8 to 36, this becomes a... Uh, Murdhanya Shakara, and so we apply it to 36, gives us the, uh, we get, so far we have this one, we have Suresh, and then we got the T. Okay, now who can tell me what will make the Ta into Ta? Many of you know this now. Get some participation. Okay, Karthik, your hand is up. Thank you, Karthik. Yes, Karthik. Uh, Tunashtuhu. Chunashtu, what number is that? I don't know the number. 8441. 8440. Correct. Yes, it's Chunashtu. What does that say? Anuruti of Stoho comes down from 8440. How do I know this number so quickly? Because from 841 to 8439 is a section which talks about changing Na to Na. It changed from the Dantya Na to Mudhanya Na. That's from 841 to 8439. Immediately after that comes Toho, Shunash, Chuho. And right below that comes Shunash, Toho. So that's how I know it's 8441. 8441. What does that say? Is that the, the Sakara, Dantya Sakara, and the Tavarga, they will change if they are in contact with the Shtuna. With the, if, the, if they are in contact with the Murdhanya Shakara or the Tavarga on either side, could be preceding or following, so if they, if they have the cerebral contact, they will give way to become cerebral. So dental cerebral contact, dental is weak, it gives way to become cerebral. So that's what's happening here. We have this 
cerebral, the Murdhanya Shakara. This Takara is dental and therefore we're going to get the Takara Adesha in, in place of Takara, we're going to get the form Srishti. So Srishti. Uh, I'm sorry. So good. So we have so that's how we got we got this uh, we got this form Srishti. Thank you, Karthik. So um, good. So that's finished that form. Srishti means creation. So used to create, also to release. So Srishti is, is creation. Um, uh, okay, so that's next homework. Let's watch what's coming next now. Last one is Kram plus Tin. So also we need to look at one more rule is 6415. Kram plus Tin. This is Anuji's favorite sutram. This is the uh, Anunasikasya. Uh, this is 6415. So we have, we have the um, Kram plus Tin. Anunasikasya quid jaloho. Kiniti. Okay. So let's start with this. And removing the heat letters also quickly for you. Make this the. And one, repeating one more time for you, there is no idagama. And anyway, there is no guna possible. Anyway, here, even if it were a 115, there will be no guna because kiniticha. So now we only need to look at is any other rule would be coming. Okay. Um, now, one more just to just to refresh your memory. Could we have used 6437 here? Because that's talking about some nasal ending. Uh, dhatus, but remember only six of them: yama, nama, gama, rama, hana, mana, and also dhatu one, and the dhatus of the eighth gana. This dhatu is not in that list. So you know this one will have um, we could not have used that one over here. So then what what we use then? But one more rule applies: the six four fifteen. Nana sikasya. Um, okay, let me bring that up for you. Uh, okay, six four fifteen. What we need to do is that we need to make a elongation of the, of the penultimate. Quid jalo ho kiniti. So six four fifteen. Now, how do we know it come to this section? Let me give you one more pointer. See, from the six three one one. One. So actually, I think the numbers are off slightly, or maybe I think this number is off by one. This dhalope purva se dirgho anaha anuvritti of dirgha. This anuvritti of this term dirgha that goes all the way to six four eighteen. Six four eighteen. Just that highlights one more point in that anuvrittis can go beyond pada boundaries. You don't have to stop. Because the pada rajya is stopped, they they can go beyond pada boundaries. This anuvritti goes from six three. I think it's one one one. The number is slightly off here. It goes all the way to six four eighteen. And within that, we have one sutra. If you want to look for any upada dirgha, upada, or just for dirgha in general, within that upada dirgha is coming here in in the in the in the six four, because no upada yaha. So any penultimate dirgha. Lengthening of the penultimate. This is a good section to come to, from six four seven to six four eighteen, six four eighteen, and there we want this specific rule six four fifteen. So let me check the number for you of that drawlop. I think it's six three one one one. This document here has has the right numbers. Okay, these numbers are correct in this Ashtadhyayi PDF file. The other one is good for Vrittis, but the numbers are slightly off. Satishi. Yes. So this I talked to uh, uh, Ajit ji, and he, and he's going to correct those numbers. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So we're going to get the numbers corrected, but for the time being, uh, we are, we'll refer to this one to get to check the numbers. So thank you for that. A uh, lot of people helping out, which is very useful. So six three one 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 is you know dhalo pepus dirgaha. Now only people make fun of me, you know, because I'm talking Vyakaranam all the time. Who's going to listen to you in your old age? <laughs> Nobody's going to be there to listen to you. But a lot of people are coming to listen, which is very good. So uh, Dhalope Purush Dirgana. So Dirgha is coming from 63111. We need 6415. And what does that, that say? Anunasika Antasya Upadhaya Dirgha Syat. This 
when the Pratya Quip follows. We don't have the Pratya Qui. But also, Jalado Kiniti. Same is Jalado Kiniti. Jalado Kiniti. Jalado Kiniti. It's going to be a condition for a lot of rules to apply, which we do have, because we have the Takarari Pratya, it is Kit Pratya. So, we get the Upadhadi. Upadhadi is a penultimate letter. So, Upadha is also a technical term. You can look up all these terms in the dictionary. Let's take the word Upadha. In fact, look at this. We are on the, we are on the right page. Can you believe that? I just opened the dictionary on the right page. <laughs> anyway, Upadha is here. Penultimate letter, Upadha. So don't be scared of these terms. You can look them all up in this dictionary. Give, sutra, give, you, give you with the sutra number. And this is alon tyat purvam upadha. So, so alaha antyat purvam. Al means any letter, right? Because if you look at the Mahesh Sutrani, starts from ayun all the way up to, you know, hal. So al means any letter. So antyat alaha purvam. So prior to the, antyam is ending. So prior to the ending letter. So the, penal, the, the penultimate letter it means, that is called upadha. See, beautiful, beautiful dictionary. It's only in three, four lines. He gives you the, the exact meaning. And oh, this is my, look at this. I got, I got the magnifying glass going also. Okay. Gives you the exact meaning and also gives the sutra number. So that we need to use that. So if you have any, if you have any question, just take a chance in dictionary. You'll probably find the answer there. So that's what makes the upada upada dirgha and we get so apply 6 4 15 and we're going to get this same uh, we're going to i have been advised to do copy paste not to change the original thing so people to look at later on can so we're going to get make this into the uh going to get ksha so instead of instead of the a uh, we got a dirgha become ksha now only Sandhi rules. Sandhi rules, I think most of you know Sutra Monuswaraha. That requires Padanta Makara. We do not have a Padanta Makara. Because what is Padanta the main Sutra means Suptingantam Padam. We are inside the Subbanta right now. Because declension will come over here. We are inside that. This Makara is not Padanta. But there is another Sutra following that which says that this says, um, Nascha Padantasya Jali. So that one will come in same that I think Moon Swara is like eight three twenty three ish somewhere there. So Nascha Padantasya. So that's the next sutram coming after that. So eight three I think twenty ish it is there. See Moon Swaraha Nascha Padantasya Jali. So Nascha means Nakarasya Makarasya Makarasya Chasthane Apadantasya. If you have a nakara or makara, which is apadanta, we do have that right now. Right now we do have that. Jali. So this monuswaraha required a padanta makara, followed by a hal letter. Now we, we next sutra is nascha padantasya jali. So nakara or makara, which is apadanta, followed by a jal letter. That becomes anuswaraha. So we're going to get the anuswaraha here, and we're going to get the uh, so we get, we're going to get uh, some applying. Let me put the number here before I forget. Okay, so six four fifteen was used over here, and then we go to the next step. You have to use the uh, eight three twenty four. I will change this fellow to the ah. I'm sorry. So it will become like that, and that was the eight three twenty four, and then finally. Uh, we're going to use the Anuswarasya Yai Parasavarnaha. Anuswarasya Yai Parasavarnaha. Get used to this sequence, by the way. It is a very, very, very common sequence. You're going to hear this hundreds, thousands of times. If you have the Nakara or Makara, which is non-Padanta, followed by letter which is Jal, in that case, that becomes an Anuswara. And then, then anuswarasya yai parasavarnaha. It will then become parasavarna. It will become, it will become the nasal of the falling to match the falling letter. Parasavarna. Param is falling letter. It becomes savarna with that. So we have a, right now we are given the number for that. That comes to the end of ashtadhyayi. So we got this ta right now. So this, this anuswara will become a nasal to match this ta varga. So we'll get the form kshanti. Let me copy this thing and put it over there. 
uh, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting slightly better at this. So okay, so now we're going to get this Nakara. I'm sorry. Uh, and yeah, let me get the number for this. That comes just in 8.4. In 8.4. So look at now. Why does Pani not put his sutras back to back? It's a very common sequence, you know. Anuswarasi is is very very common very common sequence after that. So why not put them back to back? Reason they're not back to back is that because all the sutras in between this 8.3 and this 8.4 which you're looking at, they will see the Anuswara only. They will not see them. So Pani wants to draw a lot of operations in between. Particularly the operation of changing the na to na is from 8.41 to 8.439. There are this lot of operations. We change the na into a into a mudhanya na. When they come to apply, they will only see the anuswaraha. They will not see the parasavarana. So this so uh, because we in the in the tripadi section, we cannot we cannot look back. So we we, uh, we cannot. So uh, I'm sorry. So we cannot basically once you apply sutra, we cannot we cannot go back. It is only one chance to apply. You know, and here we have this one uh, Anuswarasya Yai Parasavarana is 8458. So 8458 puts the Na in place, while 8324 put the Anuswara in place. So Sutra in between, when they come to apply, they see the Anuswara. That's why they're not back to back. This Tripadi section is, is a really a masterpiece of human intelligence. How he has put all these Sutras really, you know, with extreme care. So who sees what? Who doesn't see whom? So they go they go step by step by step by step. Each sutra gets one chance to apply, and it cannot come back and apply again. So once you do this anuswasi parasavarana, you cannot look back and go back to these other rules. So that's why this puts the nakara in place. So 8458, and that that completes this form. 8458 is the rule, and I'm sorry, 8458. So we get the form. Kshanti, Kshanti, Kshanti Rajava Mevacha, Jnana Vijnana. This comes in Bhagavad Gita, uh, same chapter 18. So I think chapter 18 is good, good for us today. Chapter 18. This comes uh, Brahmana Kshatriya Visham Shudra Nancha Parantapa Karmani Parivaktani Sabhava Prabhavair Gunaihi Shamo Damastapa Shaucham Kranti Rajavame Vacha Jnanam Vijnanam Astikyam Brahma Karma Sabhavajam This should be number This should be number 42 I'll tell you how I know that It should be number 42 uh, I met a man from Bombay He knows all the numbers of Gita by heart If you tell him any sutra he will tell you the exact number where it comes from. I, I asked him also, how do you know all these numbers? So he, he taught me how to know these numbers. See this one? It's number 42. Now how do I know number 42? Because I know that, that the, half the adhyaya ends after this Trividam Sukham. Immediately after that, that's number, because this adhyaya, first you have to memorize how many sutta each adhyaya. You need to memorize that first, uh, if you want to. This, this number this has 78 shlokas in 18th chapter. So I know 39 ends this one, this sat, this um, tamas sukham, and then 40 starts this, this one, natadasti prithivyamva, one sutra and one shloka in between. 41 comes brahmana kshatriya visham, and then immediately 42 is the brahmana sabhavaha. So that's how I know 42. So he told me memorize how many how many shlokas in each other. Memorize that first, and then you try to keep a track of you know in between each is the So then you can you can get the cumulative numbers. Anyway, okay, sorry. But number forty two is this Kshanti Rajava Mevacha. Kshanti. What is Kshanti? Kshan is to be patient, to have forbearance. <coughs> to have forbearance. So Kshanti is forbearance. Kshanti. Okay, uh, so that is the next homework. Um, what do we have next? Okay. Now he's moving on to a different pratya. Shru plus naka. This naka is not really naka. He's made kind of he's different. He's really, what Pani calls this one is nul trichau, nul trichau. Let's go to Ashtadhyay for a section. Let's see where that comes. Also in the Kudadikara, Kudadhing. These are all participles. The Kudadhing. 
and there he Panjini puts his sutram nul trichau, and that comes in three one. I think it will come like 130-ish. Okay, 133. Now this is, as I mentioned to you, by 3467. Ah, Karthik has a question. Yes, Karthik. Uh, uh, Satishji, like, uh, I have a doubt in the Upadha Dirgha uh, rule 6415, yeah. 6415. Yes, please. Uh, why you did not uh, apply for the case of Abhimati? It also has a anus Anunasika ending. Ah, very good. Yes, okay. It's a very good question. See, what he's asking is that, you know, when we had a situation here, right, Abhi Mantaskin. Now, why is that sutra not applying here? First, first thing, before we open it to the class, I want to get a discussion on this in the class, because it's a very good question. Because, first of all, why is it a good question? Because you look at the conditions and check if all the conditions are satisfied here also, you know. So, um, see, as I always say, we need at least one student in the class who can teach the next time around. <laughs> Otherwise, we are going too fast. We got to slow down. At least one student should be there who can teach the next time around. So, Karthik, you have been nominated for that post. <laughs> next, the next round of this this book, <laughs> you're going to be you're going to be teaching this one. So, okay. Um, what do you say? Anunasika antasi. We do have that. Dhatu man is ending in Nakara. Upadhaya dirgha syat kwau jalado kiniti. Okay, so that's the first thing you check is are all the conditions satisfied? They are satisfied because we have a nasal ending dhatu. We do have pratya which is jaladi kit pratya. It could be kit or nit. We have kit pratya right now. Then why not make it the same dirgha that we did? Now what could be the answer for that? Then we need to, need to check what? Is there any other sutra coming for application? Is there a viprati shedha? Do we have another rule coming and saying, no, 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 I want to do something else? Then the two have to fight it out and see who will remain behind. Of course, which one do we apply? We applied this, Anudatta Upadesha, Vanatita So we applied 6437. Now what are the conditions for that? Uh, so, first of all, that is a later rule. That is a later rule. And um, so, now when we have Viprati Shedha, how do we break the tie? How do we break the tie? Karthik, you can tell us how do you break the tie between these two? Any guesses? What are the, uh, what are the steps? I think one of the steps is that uh, internal, uh, Antaranga, Bahiranga, that... Well, that there, there are basically four steps. The first step is, do we have an apavada? Do we have a rule which is subdomain of the other rule? Do we have that or we, we don't have that? Well, let's see. Our rule number that 6415 was saying that you should have a nasal ending dhatu. These are also the same. They are also anunasika lopaha. These are also anunasika lopaha. Okay? So they both have that common condition. This anunasika only is required. Then that one had jaladi. So let's let me see if I can pull this document down so you can see both of them side by side. Okay. So this has anunasika. This has anunasika also. Now, this one has pratyak qui following or jaladi kitnit. What do we have in 37? We also have jaladi kitnit. So it has the same. Now 6415 didn't say which dhatu. It could be anything. It could be any any of these any dhatu. This didn't say dhatu x y z very much one but 6437 gives specific dhatus those six dhatus the yama nama gama rama mana hana then the dhatu one and those tanadi dhatu these are specific list of dhatus which is given conditions are the same so it looks to me 6437 can can qualify as an apavada for 6450 it can qualify as an apavada for 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 six four fifteen for removing removing the nakara. Now, because what will happen is that if you start applying six four, if you if you so the six four thirty seven and once thirty seven applies, the nasal is lost. The six four fifteen cannot apply anymore because it doesn't is because anunasika antastam nasti. 
cannot have the nunasika. This is lost anymore. This is one more thing. There are four steps to break the tie. Check if an apavada is there. Apavada means has to be a complete subdomain. In our case, we do have that, it looks like, because both require anunasika anta dhatu, jaladi kitnit, I mean jali kiniti, but 6, 4, 15 said any dhatu, doesn't, doesn't, didn't say which one. This has specific dhatus. So specific dhatus, this one has to be given a chance. Secondly is that, the second step is what is called antaranga bahiranga, which Karthik mentioned, which will not help us, because they are both acting in the, in the same internally all new. But the third step is that when one rule applies, another will not apply. It's called nitya and anitya. Let's check in our condition what will happen. If you apply 6, 4, 15 and make it dirga, make it man, you can still apply 6, 4, 37, remove the nasal, but not vice versa. When 6, 4, 37 applies, the nasal is lost. You cannot apply 6, 4, 15 anymore. So these two things, first of all, 6436 looks like an apavada in the first place. It has to be given a chance. Secondly, once 37 applies, 6415 cannot apply anymore because you lost the nasal now at the end. So that, but the question is a very good one. Why is it, why is it a good question? Because all the conditions of 6415 were satisfied in the abhiman prasti. But something else came. That something else, we have to make sure it overrules the 6415. And the apavada will help us because this one has specific dhatus only. Because the question also you need to ask is that, <coughs> is why, not, why not apply both of them now? And so really, once 6437 applies, 6415 doesn't apply anymore because the nasal is lost. So that's the answer, Karthik is that, you know, you have to check the apavada, you check the nitya anitya. So there are four steps. This is only in the first 7.1 chapter of the Ashtadhyayi, the Sapada Saptadhyayi. In the remaining 8, 2, 8, 3, 8, 4, you have to go step by step by step. Each sutra gets only one chance, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. <coughs> so 8 to 1, yes or no. 8 to 2, yes or no, apply. There is no vipratishedha there, so they all go in order. They come one by one for application, not all at the same time. But in these seven chapters in 8.1, they come all at the same time. There is no privacy here. So that's why we have to get all, the, all these rules for breaking the tie. So, and two of them came, 6.4.15, 6.4.37. 6, is a more specific rule, it will apply first, and once that applies, 15 has no chance to apply because conditions are lost. Thank you. That's 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 a good point. Little little bit deep for some of you, but anyway, at least listen to it once. We'll we'll come back to and use principles again. But okay, thank you. Okay, the next homework in the book is talking about a different. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The uh, asiddha vadatra avat will not apply because both of them are not in the same section. Yes. Very good. Okay. One more one more one more point which which Kalpesh ji is, is putting up is that. It's a very good point also. A little bit advanced for many of you, so don't worry if you don't understand what Kalpeji is saying. What he's saying is that, it's also is Sutram 6.4.22, Asiddhavadatra Abhat. In this section from 6.4.22 to end of 6.4, Asiddhavat Atra Abhat. This Bha section is at the end of 6.4. So, in this section, two rules can apply, and they are mutually Asiddha. Unlike in the 8, 2, 8, 3, 8, 4, but only one can see the other, but not vice versa. Here, when at the, at the same place, two rules can apply, and they will not see each other's operation. So, but this 6, 4, 15, what Kalpeji is asking is that, when we apply 6, 4, 37, remove the nasal. We make a, we get, instead of man, we got ma. Cannot, why not 6, 4, 15 still apply? because it, it, it would have had this asiddhavat, but that's coming in 6415. It is coming before 6422. So this year Panini is so careful about all these rules. If this 6415 was coming after 6422, it would not see this operation of this, this nasal removal. So we would, have, we would have had an issue then. 
but this 22 onwards only, only 64, 22 to end of 64, in the same location, in the same place, two rules can apply and not see each other's operations. They'll be mutually assisted. But 64, 15 is going before that. So that is why it, this, this, this principle doesn't apply. You have to have both the rules in this section of 6422 to end of 64. To, in order to use 6422, you have to have both of them in this section. We have one in this section, we have 6437, but 6415 is outside of that. So thank you. It's also a good point that we, we escaped this one because we had one inside, one outside. So that's what we did. But again, for, for many of you, it's probably a bit too advanced for you. But this is also a section of Ashtadhyayi which is also genius of Parnini, how he puts these, these, these rules which are mutually asiddha to each other, asiddha vadatrabha, but they have to be in the same location, with the same nimittam, the same operation in that same place. Okay, thank you. So let's, let's move on again. If you don't follow this right now, don't worry about it. We will come back to it later, but at least you, you heard it once. Um, so not only 8, 2, 8, 3, 8, 4, but in 6.4, from 6.4.22 to end of 6.4, we have asiddhattam mutually between two rules, okay? That much is enough for this one. So, shru plus naka. Now, what is, what is he saying, this naka? This naka actually is nul trichau. Nul trichau. So again, to refresh your memory, we already saw in the beginning of the class, we saw this sutram kartari krit. Kartari krit. 6, 4, 6. Always keep the 3, 4, 67. Please keep it in mind all the time, all the time. The moment you have an ikrit pratya, and the adhikar of krit starts from 3193 krit the thing. So any krit pratya is by default kartari arthe, in the sense of the agent, is the karta of that action. It has many places which is overruled, but right now for us, where we are going right now, it is not overruled. So kartari krit will default, will apply to our sutram right now, which is the 31. Um, 136, 130, no, 31, I'm sorry, maybe 3131313131. 31, 31, 31, 31, 31. See, from 3195 starts the, uh, okay, let's look here. This one, 31133, okay, I got it. 31133 starts the null trichaus. Pony gives two pratyas, null and trich. Doesn't say which dhatus. Means sarve bhya dhatu bhya sambhavati. Doesn't mean that all is have to be in usage for every dhatu, because it's a language. You know, people may not use certain forms, but according to Panini, they can be used. There's nothing stopping them. This word is called as abhidhanam. Abhidhanam is usage. So you got to get used to this term called anabhidhanat. Sometimes you see. In the comment, when the scholars, they might give this opinion, anabhidhanat. What does that mean? It means that even though Panini might say that this, this, this form is usable, is usable, but it, has, it, is, it is not in use, just, just because that's the way the language is. So I'll just put this one over here. It says anabhidhanat, anabhidhanat. Anabhidhanam means it is, it is not be used. In fact, this also you can check in the dictionary, anabhidhanat. What is anabhidhanat? Let's see what he has to say. Anabhidhanat means it is, it is not a form which, so even though upon it says nul trichau, any dhatu can take the pratyar nul and trich. Now how can they coexist? We already saw in the beginning of the class, is that in this kutadhikara, if it is not a sarupa, if the pratyar is not sarupa, not of the same form, these are not, because one will become, will become aka, will become tru, so they are not the same letters then two pratyas can apply in the same meaning, from the same dhatu, they can coexist. They will not overrule each other. Of course, in this case, he's saying in the same sutra, so we are okay, because they're given the same sutra, so probably it would be not an issue anyway here, because Pani is saying in the same sutra, he's putting the two of them directly. So we don't have to worry about that. But even if they're in different sutrams, they can coexist because of that. this vasarupos triyam, which we saw. There was a three one, uh, Vasaru Postriyam, 3194, but in our case, since in the same sutram, you know, clearly he wants both of them to coexist anyway, the Nul Trichau. 
So what is anabidhana? Let's look at one quickly. So it doesn't mean every dhatu with every can take this and you can just use it. Because finally in this language, you see, the, the final test is shishta prayogaha. What do the scholars have to use? What they use is what is the accepted law in this language. So of course ashtadhyayi is only to justify and to explain and to analyze shishta prayoga. It is not there to make up forms just at random like a computer program, you know. It's only to explain the usage of the scholars, what the, what the, what the scholars have used. Panini noted all of that and he made the, uh, he basically codified it. So it's only to explain those forms, not to create new ones, you know, just anabhidhana. Okay, let's try this one. Anabhidhanam, anabhidhanam. Let me see if I can find it for you. Uh, Mm. Anabhidhanam, okay. So this will be forms that you will see uh, being used in in uh, commentaries. Anabhidhanam. Look at this one. Anabhidhana. Inability to express the meaning desired is in the Mahabhashya. It says refer to such words or phrases as could be formed by rules of grammar or could be used according to the rules, but are not found in current use, recognized by the learned scholars. So, anabhidhanam. So, that is, they get used to this form, anabhidhanam. So, sometimes you will find a form, you say, why, why can't we use that? Why do you can use it? We say anabhidhana, because the scholars have not used it, for whatever reason it might be. See, there may not be a grammatical reason for that also. So just because nul trisha doesn't mean you can take every dhatu and keep on farming, farming, farming. Grammatically it's okay, but there might be some reason why some of them are not used. But right now in this rule, it says any dhatu, they can take these two pratyas. What are the pratyas? Nul and trich. Look at them very, right now in, 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 our, in our homework, he's only asking for one of them, which is the naka. Okay. So this naka, what, where do you get this naka? Let's take the first example, shuru plus naka. And uh, let me go to the document and document this properly. Uh, Shuru plus naka. Okay. Uh, so when I'll give, so after the class, I'm going to give this document to Vain and to hopefully put this on the website. Uh, let's try that. Okay. So what we have is Shuru plus this Pratya Null. Null. Okay. And we use that three one. was 133 was it? 31133 I think. Will Trichau. Yeah, okay. So that's what is giving us the, so we have to start with some place in the third chapter because anytime we have any form of dhatu, we have to start in third chapter. So this 31133. Now what are the eight letters in this? Is Chutu. If we go to 132 to 138, only seven rows. Please practice them. Please practice them. 132 to 138. You have to be able to unwrap these pratyas and the affixes. So any technical term, remove the wrapping first. And there it says, what does it say? Chutu, pratyadi, chavarga, tavarga. When you have, that is a it letter. Uh, last one is right here. 137 chutu. So we have the, we have the letter na. That letter na is going to be an it letter. And of course, halantyam as usual. So in this, and the only wu remains. So by applying the, uh, the numbers here, so 137 and 133, when you remove the wrapping, we'll get the, we'll get the remaining is uh, shuru plus, we'll only get the, uh, only Wu will remain there now. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, this this font will not allow me to do that. Okay, only only Wu remains. Uh, so we applied one three three, one three three, and one three seven, and we got this one, one three seven. Now this Wu, what is this Wu? That we have to go to seven dot one. The very first sutra means seven dot one says Yuvara Nakao, Yuvara Nakao. And that when Panini puts this either the U wall, so either the U or the Wu, what he really means is Ana and Aka. This is Panini's way of saving one vowel, you know. Because he because this this Ana and Aka come in many, 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 many places. So Panini the economizes them. 
by replacing with wu and yu. So when you see this wu or yu in a technical term, then in, in place of that, you have to substitute the your and aka, ana and aka respectively. Also mentioned to you a few times already is that if in this beginning of 7.1, Pani puts all the pratyaya adesha, any pratyayas, what adeshas will they take is given in this beginning of 7.1 and there which my teachers to mention all the time, all the time, all the time, pratyayadeshaha, atralabhyante, saptasya, no, so sapta when we have the uh, saptamasya adhyayasya prathamapade, urabhage, so saptamasya adhyayasya, in, in the beginning of seventh adhyaya, first pada, we get that, and the very first sutra is yuvor anakav, so yuvo in place of you and vu, get ana and aka yathasankim respectively, so we get respectively, so we have wu, so it's going to become aka. So we'll get the form uh, now, so I'm going to use 711, <coughs> and we're going to get shu plus aka, aka, I'm sorry, aka. So we got shu plus aka. Now this, this, this letter L, this L is an it for Vedic for us, but for this one, this N is an it has implication for us. And what does that do? I think all you asked, all you told you, when you add any Krut Pratyaya, ask two questions immediately. Do we have any Guna? Do we have any Vritti? Do we have any Idagama? Idagama only comes when you have Pratyaya, which is Valadi. Valadi. This, this Pratyaya begins with the letter A. This is not Valadi. So this will not take an Idagama. No matter the Dhatu is set or on it, it doesn't matter. We don't have a Valadi Pratyaha. We cannot get Ragama. So this is also important. The Wu was becoming Aka. So it doesn't become, because of Wu you cannot make it, you cannot think it's Valadi. Because Wu gets substituted by Aka, it's a Nitya Karyam. Nothing can stop that. It's a Nitya Karyam. So only after Aka comes, then only we can check with Valadi or not. It is not Valadi. But how about Vriddhi? We do have those two rules, which I mentioned in the beginning in, in, the, in the class already. And they are 7, 2, 1, 1, 5, 1, 1, 6. Acho Jnyati. And and atopadhyaha. So these two rules, seven two one one five one one six. What do they say? So ajanta dhatu, or pratyaya which is following has to have this chavarga panchama, which is the cha 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 jnya, and the or the tavarga panchama, the ta ta da da na, the fifth letter of the tavarga or chavarga as an as a marker. Then it is if the anga engine short, I mean, sorry, if the anga engine any vowel it will take vriddhi. So we do have that. We do have the dhatu shuru ending in u. We have the pratyaya nul, which has the n as a marker. So we are going to get vriddhi as the ekadesha, as, as the adesha. What is vriddhi? Vriddhi radeich. Very, very first to mashtadjai, vriddhi radeich. So in the, in the, in place of place of u, which has this labial component, you get the vriddhi will become au, vriddhi radeich. So, as the closest one in terms of vriddhi, in terms of both substitute. So we have three choices, right? Adaich. So A, I, and Au. That Au is the only one which has that labial component. Labial component. So that is the one which is going to come in place of the U. So that's going to be the Sthanyantara Tamaha. Sthanyantara Tamaha. So we let's go to the document and we have to replace so by applying 72115. We're going to get become going to become shrav. Uh, so we will get shrav and then the same aka uh, and we got the, I am sorry, aka. We applied 72115 achojniti. And now finally echo yava yavaha, echo yava yavaha, echo yava yavaha. The av will become the av. We will get the form Shravakaha. So Echo Yava Yavaha will come right before I think Iku and Achi. Echo Yava Yavaha. We come we're gonna get the uh Shravakaha. Shravakaha. So I'll put the right number here. I think that should be below the Iku and Achi. Six one seventy seven. Should be six one seventy eight. Because I know Ikonachi is 6177. I think next to the HO Yavaya Vaha. So 617, just double check for you. 
you got the document without error. If you're making any errors, please tell me because we want the document as far as possible error free. So, <coughs> yeah. So, Eco Energy was 6177. HO Yava Yava is 6178. So, if you have an A Janta, so A, O, I, Au, then followed by Ach, Achipare, you get the Yatha Sankyam, I, Au, I, A. So, you become Shravakaha. So, Shravakaha is in the meaning of the listener. We have listeners because Shru is to listen. This was Kartariyarthe. Only one meaning possible, listener. Now one more caution for some people. Again, this, this form is done. We got the form Shravakaha. But what could have happened here is that can Shravakaha also be the one who narrates to somebody else, who makes somebody listen? It could be. Because what could have happened is that, again, for the new people, don't worry about this. The ho I said homework is concerned, this is the form, Shravakaha, that we got the homework. But what could have happened here is for the for the little bit more advanced people, is that you could have had a Pratyar niche coming in here, in the causative form. That would have made the Dhatu Shravi. To Shravi, when you add the Nul again, it will also become Shravakaha. You could have had an Antarvarti niche, you could have had. Antarvarti, Antarvarti means inside you have a niche. This also this is also a technical term that they will use in commentaries. Antarvarti niche means that antarvartin means which is inside, you know. So so this shravaka unfortunately can also mean. In fact, you know what? Let's go to Apte and check this. Okay, let's see what we find over there, because we should be able to look at Apte dictionary and see if we can get that. I think that you should we should find because if you look at Apte dictionary and all of a sudden you find you find listener. And also the one who is uh, making other people, so he's like the narrator, you know. So, so then how do you get the word narrator with the listener also? Let me let me look at it. So if you look, if we take our, let's go to our document and take the form, take the form, final form we got was the Shravakaha, right? Let's, let's put an Apte dictionary. So this is a wonderful dictionary. If we use it, uh, so we just join, we get, I'm sorry. Ah. Okay, Shravaka. Let's let's try that. Let's see Shravaka. Because the point I'm trying to make is that this could have been also a, a causative form and it could be the one who is let, let's see what, what comes up here. Shravakaha. Let's see. Let's see what Apteji has to say. Another great man. You know, as I said, Apteji died at the age of like forty maybe. And he composed a, a dictionary, you know. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't say. He only says a hearer, a pupil, disciple, class of Buddhist Walter. Okay. I guess he's not saying here, but I think I guess it could be. But here is given only the basic meaning of a hearer. So he's, he's only saying a hearer, not 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 one who makes others hear, pupil or disciple, one who hears. Okay. So I guess that's, that is the main meaning. But I think we can make also a causative. Satya has, has uh, uh. Yes, Satya. Yeah, just uh, in that Apte, is it Shri plus Nul? Hmm. How will that not become? That will become Shraya Kaha, right? Yeah, right, right, right. Is there a typo there? Or? Yeah, this is like a rare typo. It's a good point Satya is making. Because anyway, she doesn't mean to listen anyway. But she is right, 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 right. It's not consistent. Yeah, I think, okay, so that's a typo. And this looks like a typo because I just say it's a good dictionary. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> but, but it could be a typo in transcription. Too, yeah, right? this, this is the, I think this is an online typo, by the way. <laughs> let me, let me check in. The, yeah, this, I think this is the online typo that we have here. This is not the, not, not, not Aptage's fault at all. Because he is, uh, let me double check for you. Okay, let me look at the book. And I think in the, in the, I think this must be an online typo. Because, so I guess they have made some typos online. And Induji has. No, no, the dictionary, printed dictionary also has a typo. Really? Induji? Yes. Book Hindu? says the same thing. Book has the same thing. Right. <laughs> so this is, I guess, I shouldn't, I'm sorry. Shouldn't but for Shravaha, there uh -huh. he gives uh, Shru plus Khain. And but uh, for Shravakaha is three plus four. Uh, yeah, so I guess yeah, I'm sorry, it's a rare place where the dictionary is is not. In fact, 
but actually I have I have a very old Apti dictionary. This is the real Apti I have when Apti was living. We can look at that also. <laughs> I don't think Apti can make this mistake. I really don't think so. But this, ah, you're right. Apti dictionary has has this meaning. I mean, there's a, there's a typo in the dictionary itself. This is not an online typo. This is a typo in, in the in the book itself. Okay, sorry about that. But yeah, normally this up this dictionary is very good. Doesn't have these typos. So, but I think it could also be a causative form, antarvati niche. But uh, here we we don't we don't. Uh, sorry, was you had a question? I'm sorry. I put a hand down. Yes. Uh, Hanji. Was you have a question? Yes. Sir. Yeah, it's just a coincidence. Uh, yesterday I came across a, a slogan. Uh, Shrunoti yaha shravayate 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 cha bhaktiya correct sarvanya abhishtani cha vindathe dhruvam dhruvam so one who listens and makes other listen also yeah shai i then that's what i thought that correct. shravayate correct yeah. so that you. could have been used here also i think it can be used but anyway it will be a little bit of a cheeky form to use because since the niche and in, and, and without niche is the same form, they will not generally use this kind of forms. Unless, you know, once in a while you might see it. Anyway, okay, but this was a little bit advanced for some people. Let's, let's see if we can continue. So we got this form, Shravakaha. Let's see what's the next form in the homework. And uh, try to see, okay, did, did I lose my page? No, I have it. I'm sorry, I have it. Okay, next one is Pat plus Naka. So same kind of steps. It's Kartriyarthe. Nul Trichau, the first two, three steps are the same. You get Pat plus Aka. In this case, you have to use 72116, the next sutram. And that says Ata Upadhayaha. Ata Upadhayaha. And which means that not only the ending Ach, but the medial, I'm uh, not, penultimate A uh, also takes Vriddhi. When, when this Pratya has this Chavarga Panchama or Tavarga Panchama is an It. So the nasal of the tervarga, so the atopadhaya. So that's what we have to use because we have an upadha, which is short a. So ataha, in place of a short a, which is upadha, you, you, you make a vriddhi adesha. Again, vriddhi adesh means a will come in that place. When the pratyaya falling is either nit or nit. So let me document this one. It will become pathakaha. So first steps will be the same same 31113 etc and then we will get the the uh, we have the dhatu pat plus aka and now we use the uh, now we use the 672116 so 115 we use 116 and we will we'll get the form pat kaha so we will get uh, so I will write it like this um, Pātakaha. This has still have to be declined. This will decline Ramavat. So we have to, we'll, we'll be like Ramavat. So Pātakaha, Pātakao, Pātakaha, etc. So only one, 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 only one change we made instead of, because this shoe was ending in a vowel, Achyodinthi could be used. This one is, is has a medial A, I mean, sorry, penultimate A. So we use the Atopadhaya, 7 to 1. So it became Pātakaha. Otherwise, the rest of the steps are the same. The next one comes is the Sitch plus naka. Okay, sitch. So pata is to read, by the way. So again, the same thing with pataka. It could be the reader most of the time. It could be one who makes people read also. Now, sitch is to sprinkle. So you'll get the form sechakaha. Here, what's happening is that we're getting, we don't have, we're going to get the default, the puganta lagu cha. Let me put the form for you here. So we'll get sitch. Uh, plus the, the same uh, Pratya Nul, we become, so, so the, we have to apply the same steps, you are a Nakao, and then we are going to get the form which is going to become Se Chakaha, Se Chakaha because of the Sutram Pugantal Gupatas Chacha, Pugantal Gupatas Chacha, because here no Vriddhi was possible, why not? We don't have an ending vowel, we don't have a penultimate short A, this is ending in Cha, not ajanta dhatu and the penalty upadha is the e so it's not a short r so we could not use either 72115 or 72116 there was so there was no nit or nit karyam so we have to go to the utsarga which is the which is the um, 
Suganta Lagu Padaschecha. The seven we have to use seven three eighty six. Seven three eighty six. What was that saying? Any pratya, which is Sarvadhatuka or Adhatuka. If you have a Lagu Padha, this E is Lagu. Well, lagu means fall should be Raswa and there should be no Sanyoga following. E is Lagu, it takes Guna, Adeng Gunaha. So take the closest substitute, becomes Sechakaha. Sechakaha is one who sprinkles. So one who sprinkles, Sechakaha. Like you know, we sprinkle, I mean like one who waters the garden or something, Sechakaha. So we used 7386, Uganta Lagu Okay, and then, then the next one is we have um, two more. Much plus naka is very same steps. Much plus naka become mo chakaha. Same, you, you look at the, uh, take the puganta lagu pasasya and become the same uh, same steps, you'll get mo chakaha. Nothing special. Instead of here we have u instead of e. So much is to, is to, to, to liberate or to free or to release. So mo chakaha is one who releases. So I'll just put it here like that for the for the document's sake. So we get much plus akha and you'll get the form mo chakaha by the same sutram uganta lagu patasya mo chakaha. I mean decline begin mo chakha if you want. So it will decline like Ramavat, same sutram. So the next one has, has two rules. I think it's giving us gai. Become gai plus same akha. Now, gai is to, of course, to sing. So we get we get the one who sings. So here comes two rules. <coughs> the first tool is 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 a very general. Okay, Anuji has a question. Uh, yes, uh, seven four eighty six. Um, Satishji. No, no, no. Seven four is all the abhyasa rules, Anuji. It will not be seven four. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yes. are abhyasa rules, right? Correct, so, correct. I t uh, yes, so, I take it okay, back. No problem. Sorry. Uh, no problem. Um, so, 6145, which says that adecha upadesha shiti. Very important rule. Please mark this one. These are all rules which are going to, you're going to come many, many times. Why is, why is the rule so important, by the way? Because it has a wide application range. Wide application range. What is the wide range over here? It says ad echaha. Upadeshe. So if you have a dhatu in upadesha, in dhatu partha, not, which is ajanta, means what? So, ayong ai auch. So, a o ai atwa au antaha dhatu. If you have that, and it should be in upadeshe. Why upadeshe? It should not come through some guna or something like that. If you take a dhatu bhu, it takes guna like bhavishyati becomes bho. That bhu becoming bho is 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 now ajanta, which is not upadeshe. It has to be ajanta in upadeshe in the dhatu partha. So so you cannot say that the bhu become to guna became bho, and now I'm going to apply six one forty five. No, that six one forty five will only apply to those dhatus like gai, which are already ajantas in the dhatu partha. And what happens to them? They become ad. The alone just they become the they become the, they get the substitution of long R substituted. When when the pratya following is does not have the talavya sha as an it. Um, so that is what it means. What right now we have the pratya null. We don't have this talavya sha as a marker at all. We had marker only of the n and the and the la. No talavya sha as a marker. So, uh, but so this one immediately applies before you do anything else. If you have a dhatu ending in age, a o i o, in upadeshe, and you know the pratya which is going to come is going to be does not have this talavyasha, the shiva sha as an it, then immediately before you do anything else, you make that dhatu into a. So these dhatus ending in A, I, O, O, they really have like dual forms almost, you know. They immediately change to a long A ending. So this will become, so here we are going to get Ga, Ga plus Aka, because we applied the, uh, I'm sorry, I know time is almost up, but let me just try to finish this one with your permission and we'll, we'll stop with that. So we use 6145. Please revise this rule at home. 
So any dhatu ending, you're going to hear this a thousand times. When you dhatu ending in a i o o, the, the pratya which is coming is doesn't have talavya shas and it immediately make it into an akaranta dhatu. So akar is a nitya karyo, nitya karyo. And then comes another rule which says ato yukchin kruto ho, ato yukchin kruto ho, ato yukchin kruto ho, ato yukchin kruto ho. Any new sutra? Repeat it please five ten times. So it will stick with you. It will you know it will. Now this sutram is one more one more pointer for you is that in this this anuvritti of this achol in this niti goes from seven to one one five. It also goes into seven dot three. So if you're looking for any sutram which which gives the any operation to be done when you have this chavarga panchama or tavarga panchama as a marker. This is a good section to look at it. So from 7 to 115, this also goes beyond the Pada boundary. It goes into 7.3. And there we can get the Sutam Ato Yukchin Krutoho. So if you have the Akaranta Anga, and Pratya is falling either Chin, we don't have Chin right now. So we don't have to worry about that. But any Krut Pratya, which is Nit or Nit, then you get the Yuk Agama. Yuk Agama. So this Adanta gets the Yuk Agama. What is Yuk? In the Yuk, what are the markers? So the Yuk Agama really is um, only the Ya remain. Because in the Yuk, what we have is that in the Yuk, we'll have to take out the mark. Again, anything that comes in Ashtadhyayi, you have to remove the package, remove the packaging. And you get Yuk is simply the upadesha aj anunasikit, the u, and then the kaba halantyam. This is this is an agama. This is an augment. Uh, how do you know it's an augment, by the way? Because this letter ka, this letter ka is telling us that you put the augment at the end. Because adyantau takitau, adyantau takitau. As sutram says that if you have any augment which has this ka as a marker. It goes to the ending of the term that it's going to. So Adhyantau Takitau, that's the Paribhasha Sutram. That will come in the in the first Adhyarashta Adhyayi, Adhyantau Takitau. So using that Paribhasha, we're going to put that one is 1146. So this curves in it is going to dictate that it goes to the end of the Ga. And we're going to get the form Ga Yakaha. we get the form Ga Yakaha. So what did we use? We used Ato Yuk. Chin Krutoho, and then we used Adhyantau Takitau. So in the Yuk Agama, only the Ya remains as the marker because the same It Sutras get Gaya Kaha. So this is a special form. So let me put the number to document this one, uh, and then I think we are going to stop now soon. So 7333, along with, along with the uh, 1146. So 7333 along with 1146. I think we should publish this document for the for the homework files, you know. So people who want to do homework uh, can use this document. Okay. So you got the form Gaya Kaha. Can we finish up the last one? What do we have? I think the one more is there. Okay, Nash. Nothing special. With Nash and Aka, Nasha Kaha. Atopadhaya. Same as what we have with Pata Kaha. We do Pata Kaha. Same thing, Nasha Kaha. So Gaya Kaha is one who sings. Nashakaha one who one who destroys Nashakaha. So very common form. So this Pat plus Akha we can take the same thing and make the form Nashaka and that with that we that with that we will stop. So we'll get instead of Patakaha, you just put the same rule and you can use this make it um Nash uh, plus Akha will become Nashakaha. So what I'll do is that I'll stay back for questions, try to finish on time as far as possible. And uh, uh, if any questions, please stay back. Also, I think Hindu and Kartik, I want to talk to you if you can stay back for a couple of minutes. So, Ramo Rajamanis Sada Vijayate, Ramam Ramesham Haje, Ramena Vyata Nishachara Chamu, Ramayata Smai Namaha, Rama Nasti Parayanam Parataram, Ramaschada Sosmyaham, Rame Chittale Sada Bhotame Bho Rama Mamudhara, Rama Rame Ti Rame Ti Rame Rame Manorame Sahasana Mudatulyam Rama Nama Varadhani 
Shri Rama Nama Varanana Om Namiti. So continue with the homework next time. Going a little bit slow, but I hope this detail is good for the new people. I think old people have to excuse me because going a little bit slow for them. But okay. Any any 